Using Lyapunov theory, we've been able to show um, stability or asymptotic stability. Um, and now we're we'll touch on a topic that allows us to understand uh, the scope of that stability. And so we can call this the basin of attraction, the domain of attraction, or the region of attraction. Um, but effectively, it is the set of initial states that will converge to your equilibrium x star. So it's all it's all starting positions such that the, the tr system trajectories eventually reach that equilibrium. Um, and so Lyapunov functions actually can give you a way of estimating these. So typically the basins are not necessarily um, the same shape as your function, but um, any point that you show that is stable from the sense of Lyapunov means that it eventually goes to this equilibrium somehow. And so if that's true, then you can use this, this level set of V of X as a proxy for the basin of attraction. So one of the questions um, that one of the things that we'd like to establish is, um, is this notion of global stability, which means that all initial starting points for the state, all initial states is eventually reach this equilibrium. Because then that's a very strong condition, um, but one that we'd definitely be interested in showing. And so we said that you can use the Lyapunov function in order to get a, a proxy for that. So what happens if this Lyapunov function, these level sets just keep getting bigger and bigger? And if we consider some of the uh, Lyapunov functions that we've that we've seen, like just x squared, this continues to get bigger and bigger. And so one could find much uh, larger and larger sets that uh, you could use as a proxy for your basin of attraction. So um, this gives rise to another version of, of this Lyapunov stability or another corollary which says that um, essentially the same two conditions that we had before that this Lyapunov function is non-negative and it's only zero at your equilibrium uh, and also that um, that your derivative of the function along the system dynamics is always negative, except maybe at your equilibrium. And the new thing that we're going to be introducing is this notion of um, this Lyapunov function being radially unbounded, which essentially says that as x gets big, and so if x is a vector, you could take the norm of that vector, so you've got this ever-increasing ball, um, that the value of the function v goes off to infinity. So it grows off to infinity as x grows off to infinity. And the parabola is one example of that in the sense that um, as you head further and further in either direction, either towards minus direction of x or positive direction of x, that v of x just gets bigger and bigger and bigger, right? And so if we have this con these three conditions with this new radially unbounded condition, then we can say that this equilibrium is not only asymptotically stable, but it's also globally asymptotically stable. So that means all initial points will indeed be inside the basin of attraction of this um, equilibrium. And so all state trajectories will lead to the equilibrium.